Welcome back. Today we're doing the last day, I believe, of Home Safety Hotline. It's the Sunday, unless there's any secret days following. I think this is it. I think this is the last one. We did Saturday and we did a great job. I think we only got one wrong. And yeah, that's it really. We haven't really learned anything else about anything. To be honest, we're just doing our best, hoping that we're not gonna get sent to any caves and fight things with swords. And hopefully we won't get turned into a smart mouse. But other than that, I think we've done a great job. So let's go. Okay, so entry browser. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. So I've got everything now. But why do I need this now? Okay, okay. No, oh, I'm really sad that I'm not going to get any more emails from Mike the Smart Mouse. Congratulations, employee 036. We're happy to report we are most pleased with your labours and are currently making all the necessary preparations for your impending dissension. Assuming you pass the trial. The soil is fertile. Keep up the great work and thanks for working through the weekend. Wait, 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 wait. Is the trial fighting whatever was in that cave with an iron sword? Because I don't want to do that. I mean, part of me does. I think I'd be really good at it. But, you know, not f not for you. Like, for my own benefit. Not for this company who don't even know my name. Daily coupon, Glamourstone. Whether you're simply too tired to concentrate or if you want to look your best without the stress, our Glamour Stones are here to put you at ease with our patented protective seal. Our Glamour Stones have a 99.9% .9 reliability rating. To receive your discount, type in the following code WAM GLAM THANK YOU MAM <laughs> Ah, no, I would rather put in the work. Thank you. Um, okay, let's go. Last day, last day before we get turned into a smart mouse. Wait, do we get turned into a smart mouse if we fail the trial? Like if we're successful with the trial, do we win? Do we get a raise and do we get to run the company? It's already messing up. That bodes well for me. Oh no, the trial wasn't anything to do with the, with the sword. What? <gasps> They've taken away all my information. Excuse me? What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? We are many, we are above, we are followers of our queen. What are we? I'm sorry, so now you're just not going to make any sense at all and you've taken away all of my information. Oh, mate. Please hold. What am I going to do with that? I mean, it's bees, right? It's bees, right? I can love bees. It's got to be bees. It's got to be bees. Bees. Oh, my goodness. As if, no, there's too many things. There's too many things for me to... And it's riddles. I have no information. And you're speaking to me in riddles. And showcase thy knowledge. Oh, I've been working here a week, man. You should have been training. Should have been like two weeks of training at least. I am not living. I am not living, yet I clatter. I'm small, I am weak. I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? Like, I do actually, I, I'm complaining, but I really enjoy a riddle. Um, okay. Please hold. So in my head, I'm like, an animation is small. I believe it clatters in the nighttime, and it's not alive, is it? It's animated. I don't know, like, what's its purpose? So it could be an animation. So there's a lot of these things where I'm like, I'm immediately bypassing them because they're alive, right? Like cockroaches are alive, a hob is alive. Torture, I, it's gotta be alive, but also it just wasn't, it was just all about impending doom. Yeah, I think this is an animation because cause of the way it's worded. Like an animation isn't technically alive. Oh my goodness, then we might have to redo 
We might have to redo Sunday about six times. We'll see. It was definitely, the, the first one was definitely bees. Forge ahead. Is that anything to do with what the answer is? What was the last one? Showcase thy knowledge. No. I am the beggar. I'm the encroacher of the dry. I'm friend to the water of the sky. What am I? Well, the water of the sky is rain. Encroacher of the dry. It makes old. things wet and it's a friend to the rain. It could be a rain nymph, but I don't remember what rain nymphs do. What they look like. I am a friend to the water of the sky, which is rain. I'm going to say rain them again. I'm going to try to not think too hard, which might be the exact wrong thing to do with riddles. Maybe I should be thinking extra hard with riddles. But I don't know. Press on, employee. What? What now? How many? I'm the harbinger of death. I'm the bringer of pestilence. I'm forever the nuisance. What am I? So it's something that brings bugs and pests. The harbinger of death. But a harbinger is like... Wait, is his face meant to look like a spriggan? <laughs> but the harbinger is like... Bringer, right? It doesn't necessarily kill you itself. Got like a portent, like a bad omen. Tells you that death is here and it brings pestilence. I'm forever the nuisance. I'm annoyed that it gave me that whole entry thing on the home screen and then I can't, it's irrelevant I can't even see it to so what brings pests see I don't think it's it's right it's not a false beat it's not a false beat because that it just does it just doesn't it doesn't fit it doesn't bring pests it's not a nuisance it kills you literally kills you whereas this is more like it's irritating it's annoying and it is like like a like an omen of death, or it comes with death. It's not death itself and it doesn't kill you, but a false beat kills you. The false flower and the false rose bush. Again, like, what relevance do they have? Like, there's nothing about them that would signify death. You put a rose on someone's grave, I guess? Like, but it's, it's a bit loose. It's a bit loose of a connection. And a rose... <sighs> Are they a nuisance? I don't think so. Bringer of pestilence. I d the horde? But again, the horde doesn't s signify death. The horde is just annoying. So it's, it's hard because is it about death or is it annoying? It's not the horde. It just doesn't feel right in my bones, you know. I'm trying to think of like, you know, like the four horsemen of the apocalypse. And pestilence is like buzzy buzz buzz. Trash. Trash and flies. And I just... Housefly. It... It could be a fly, you know. Is that... Is that staffed? The harbinger of death. Like, you always see flies, like... the Like, the horseman. Like, you have flies buzzing around the horseman, right? And he is the bringer of death. The flies are just, like, suggest death. The bringer of pestilence, because they carry disease. And they're real f***ing annoying. Real annoying. I honestly think this might be a fly. <sighs> Am I really going to say a fly? Like, after all of this, after all of this, and it's a fly. But it fits. Oh, I'm so gonna die. I'm so gonna get turned into a smart mouse. Rejoice! Rejoice, employee. Mine eyes are upon me. Uh, what? Gone. What's your next one? I seek the domains of those who have too much. Step within and they lose their way. What am I? Okay, okay. So this is something that you go into, right? So you've got the the neighbor neighborhood watch neighbor the neighbor door. You've got the portal and you've got the Narnia closet. I seek the domains of those who have too much. Please hold. Step within. Is there anywhere thing else that you like go into? Is it just the three? 
The closet labyrinth. Cella grotto, but you don't this you didn't like with the cellar grotto, you don't go into it, right? So I'm thinking just from my first instinct is that this is the the closet labyrinth because of the ice of those who have too much like the neighborhood watch door and the portal it's nothing like it's nothing to do with the things that you have it doesn't take anything from you whereas your clothes go missing right your stuff goes missing with the the, the narnia wardrobe so the narnia wardrobe is taking your stuff but the other two aren't taking your stuff the picture of it was like the floorboards all floopy suggesting that you get lost like a labyrinth it's called a labyrinth <laughs> i'm gonna say it's the labyrinth i need to remember the real names of things and then things might be easier yes that makes sense you lose your way in a labyrinth and it takes all your stuff okay expand thy mind floor roots that's definitely floor roots from the ceiling but that's floor roots the next answer is floor roots i'm a genius or a spriggan or a sprig three this is not what i thought this was gonna be i feel like i'm doing an exam or a test i mean it's, it is a trial just we can... companions of the garden we compel those who tread to tread no longer what are we we compel those who tread to tread no longer so those who walk in a garden don't walk in a garden anymore basically Please hold. we compel those who tread to tread no longer so they stop moving we compel those who would ordinarily walk in a garden to not walk in the garden anymore essentially so what was that little what 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 the one that we've already had with the man who said that he was looking at him what was it called oh uh, my brain like is this is not what i thought i'd be doing in the morning and uh my my brain is on fire but i got this i don't got this all right let's go from the beginning then so it, it's not autumn vines but then could it even be simple as something like like a moles make molehill so you can't you can't walk across the garden anymore because there's molehills everywhere do you know what i mean something that simple false flower false rose bush and a false beet see the fact that it says companions of the garden i don't know makes me feel see saying alive is wrong because all of these things are probably alive but companion suggests consciousness of some sort friend of the garden i think it's a false beat it just doesn't the terminology doesn't sound right for it to be a false beat false flower and false rose bush i don't think that they they don't compel you to not tread anymore you know floor roots see this is interesting because it's like garden adjacent right companions of the garden but we don't necessarily live in the garden garden adjacent we compel those to tread to tread no longer so you would stop moving because it <coughs> takes you right seedling the problem with the seedling is that i don't remember what it does could very easily be a seedling and i just don't remember what it is at the moment i would say it's either floor roots or a seedling my only thing with floor roots is like i feel like it fits but it's not it's going to be something in the garden it's i know i said it's garden adjacent like it's a friend of the garden but i don't think that that's the thing i think it's going to be a thing in the garden so sprig and sprig tree sprig vines and then is there anything after that it was a spriggan before, right, that was upset with the man for eating fruit and didn't want him to mow his lawn. Because that could would make sense. What does bother me about it, though, is the way that it's phrased. Like, we are companions of the gardens. We compel that. It's like, what are we? That, that would suggest it's something that's more, like, hive-minded. Like, bees. Like, we follow the queen, not I or it. And a spriggan is a, is a singular thing right it's an it it's an i none of them feel like they fit which then i'm like well i don't know what a seedling is so would it be a seedling but then i don't know what it is so i can't take a punt on it <sighs> what did it say something something soil i'm gonna go for 
Brigham. But I don't feel comfortable with that. I just... This has got so serious. Let go thy stilted soul. Oh. So many red herrings, hey? I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak oil and light. It's a, it's a, it's a fire, right? Oil and oil and light. Fire dances. Fire destroys. Fire consumes the weak and the reckless. No, it's a, it's a fire. It's a, it's a fire. Fire. House fire? Yes. Yeah. It's got, yeah. It's got to be a house fire. Descend. Oh, we're getting lower. Can't be that many more. Hello. I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. this is stupid shadow face this is stupid shadow face man that i kept clicking on and now it's good that i did who brought deliverance deliverance he seeks you delivers you what is he called the yeah it's him it's absolutely him there's nothing else that that can be deliverance it's weird isn't it that sometimes like a certain word stick in your head deliverance I hope I got that right. Like, that was so quick. <laughs> I just automatically assumed that that would be fine, but... Hello? Hello. Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you closely. Carol's so gone wrong. Time, you have been providing excellent and accurate answers to our callers. These acts will not go unrewarded. Oh, good! And report that you have qualified for a promotion. Yeah! I'm getting a raise, boy! Yeah. Oh! No, I don't, not that kind. I just want more money. I don't want this kind of promotion. No, please. Please, supervisor, bitch, Bobby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean any of it. I just want a raise. That'll be fine. I'm so happy I got it right, but also, I don't want this to happen to me. <gasps> Is that Supervisor Bitch Barbie? Did I fight something in a cave with a sword? Ah, do I get a little crown? Delightful. I want your crown. Give me your crown. Your crown's better than my crown. Yours has flowers in it. Congratulations. All hail our new junior supervisor. Yay! All hail me. God, they had a lot more crossover with the voice actors than I thought they were. Jeez. I like this song. What does it mean? I got promoted. Yes. Better come with perks. Is that it? Am I done? Yay. We never found out about Mike the Smart Mouse. So I'm assuming if you fail, you get Smart Moused. And if you succeed, you get promoted and you get a crown and you get a funky song. Delightful. Delightful. I was expecting... I think more of an explanation about why everything was the way that it was but i enjoyed it i don't often play games like this and i had a lot of fun it was great a great time so yeah that was home safety hotline go check it out just forget everything that i just did and work it all out for yourself and uh that's it hey it's me i have answers i have answers so I can see what, uh, uh, so I got two wrong on day two.
I only got one wrong on day three. I got everything right on day four. Everything right on day five. Oh, yeah, I only got that stupid wine sprite wrong on day six. And day seven was the spriggan. Yeah, I'm going to have to look up what that is. How many did I get wrong in total? One, two, three, four, five. That is pretty darn good. Heck yeah. Hi, I'm Nick Lives or Nick Lives. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's one of them. <laughs> I'm creator of Home Safety Hotline. If you're reading this, it means you're invested enough in this game to be curious about its development. So if so you've come to the right place this is a peek into the game's art development process and all the human messiness that entails i hope you enjoy this thorough and admittedly indulgent look into what went into making home safety hotline the game it is right now oh wow so it is it, it is it, it is thorough oh i won't ruin all of this for everyone so there's lots of cool extra bits here that you can have a look at. But to get those extra bits, you have to go and get the game and play the game and uncover the extra bits. So you should do that. You should do that now. And yeah, this time I, I, I genuinely do think that that's it.